Yes, yes, Massive and Crew back once again with another video. And today's video is about an interesting um, topic that someone raised uh, about the Emu software. I uh, just want to say a uh, big up to the Farben for pointing this out. I did remember sort of vaguely that there was um, an emulator software about, yeah, back in the day. And they also, because I remember Emu brought out their own um sample not sampler audio interface i used to own one of them as well uh, and uh, and you know sadly it packed up but i did all the early original planet moo stuff that i did uh was done on that sound card uh i'll do some homework po probably post a link up to it uh it's probably uh, redundant now anyway but um yeah so farben says um emu emulator x3 if you can sum how find and activate the software so as you can see on my desktop i managed to locate um a copy of that on archive.org um and it's here for download um i'm not sure what the deal is with it um but it's taking ever so long to download i've got emu midi two times two which i probably won't need two minutes left and um i've also got emulator x2 iso so it says here emulator x is a software-based audio sampler that was produced by emu systems in 2004 to 2009 emulator x software is compatible with pcs running microsoft windows operating system the sampler can operate as a standalone program or as a vst instrument as sorry as of emulator x3 is available in both 32 and 64-bit versions that's pretty interesting um, for the software to run one of several sound cards sold by emu was originally required the sound card acted as a hardware dongle oh crap to prevent unauthorized use without the purchase of an emu branded device the requirement was later dropped oh good news with the release of the emulator x Okay, versions. Following Emu's decision to end sales and production of its hardware sample in 2003, Emulator X was released as the company's first entry into the software sampler market in 2004. So it's quite old, this one. Emulator X2 was released in 2006, followed by the third and final incarnation, Emulator X3, in 2009 the product has since been discontinued and is no longer available to purchase from either emu or its parent company creative technology emulator x was largely used on emu's hardware sampler operating system eos as such it replicates or expands upon most of the design and features available in the final revision of the operating system eos 4.70 as an example of this the inclusion of emu's highly publicized z plane filters with emulator x containing over 25 new filters not available in eos so it's got some features that are even continuing and even beyond uh, the you know the sampler itself um now it probably won't sound identical because obviously hardware is hardware and software is so software but it'd be great to kind of do a comparison between the two as you can see this is downloaded it's pc based i've got a little retro one over there i believe it's running windows 7 i don't know if it's compatible but hopefully um so we've got uh it says here um it also it is also capable of importing and exporting bank files in EOS format for compatibility with EMU's legacy hardware, such as the Emulator 1V, um, Roman <laughs> comment down below, <laughs> I think it's five in it, I'll say, uh, and E4 Ultra series devices. It is the last software sampler produced that retains the ability to directly sample other sources in contrast to current software samplers, which require existing samples and therefore more akin to traditional romplers. Romplers? What's a rompler? Um, <clears throat> check it out. Research it, guys. Um, comment down below. Among the more noteworthy sampling features added in emulator x2 is simp swipe 
a tool which gives Emulator X the ability to sample from connected MIDI devices such as hardware synthesizers by sending a series of notes to different velocities via MIDI and automatically recording the device's output to create a new fully mapped sample bank. So it looks pretty promising guys if you know that's probably an onboard tool. Uh, that could probably do the uh, transform multiply that we spoke about in the previous video. Um, and uh, it looks like we've got some interesting things going on here, like the Proteus X, Emulator X, probably some hardware, some SAL library, not sure exactly. Um, are there any other screenshots you could see here? Ah, yes, this is the one that I've seen on the internet. Hey guys, back in. So now I've got the software set up here now. In, this is the Emulator X software, the original, um, and this is kind of the software version of the um, Emu s Sampler software, right? Now, the thing is, as well, it's, only, it's not available on the Mac. It's only a PC-based thing, but I've got one standalone on my retro PC, and uh, I just want to check out a couple of these little features on here, and it kind of gives you like a drawing board, if you like, for the real hardware sampler uh, without the wait for all of the processing time. So I've got a sample here now. I've got that Hoover there, right? And I was able to kind of merge uh, two samples. I think it was that one and I think it was that one and this one. And I, it, it come up with this. But that was after two morphs. So let's try that again. So I'm going to go to, let's see, let's get, let's get this going. So I'm going to get this one, that Hoover there. And I'll keep on doing hoovers. So we get that one. Now what you do is you grab that, you copy it, and it goes into the clipboard. You then get the second sample and you press, you play it, obviously. And then you go up to here. This is normally grayed out. Now you've got two places to go to the um, transform multiply. Uh, you go to here, transform multiply. And uh, once you've done that, um, it will merge the two, but it comes up with a with a kind of a, do you want to do a 50% blend or do you want to do a 100% blend? So this is, in their eyes, an improvement. I kind of like the one in the Emu because it's just simple. You just press go and what you get is what you get. But I guess you could tweak around with this. So from here, you click OK and then look, you get that straight away. So it's doing the same thing. You've also got other functions on here uh, that allow you to do the edit. So I was able to, to pull off a fade here, uh, just standard linear fade and then Bosch. So that's that's a sound there worth a print. Uh, nothing too, too amazing to write home about, um, but still good, right? Let's see what else we got. So we got this, uh, let's get this sound and then let's get this bass sound here. And then we've got a little bass loop. <laughs> Let's see what that does. Right, I'm going to copy that now. Uh, let me just uh, highlight it all. I'm going to copy it. Noodles. Right. Dog's there. I think she wants to go. Right. And then I'm going to I'm going to do the uh, X multiplier morph with that and see what happens. Right. Click that. Bomb. Let me see what we get. And it's weird how it sort of comes out of this region here. I'm not sure what's going on. It's kind of fuddy, man. But the beauty of this, we got undo. Yeah, we got undo. Uh, we're gonna try something else. Maybe find another instrument, perhaps. Um, we need to import samples somehow. Import samples, right? Let's go. Let me try and get a few going. What else we got? Because uh, that kind of just made a mess of it, to be honest. Uh, it's not seeing the full range of sample files. Let's see what sick bass is. Click OK. Can't, I kind of don't like the way it does this. Enter a new name, blah, blah, blah. Yep, save over it. Okay, let's call it Sick Bass then. Come on. Sick Bass. I'm going to get back to the sample after this, I think. Check out some more functions. Sick Bass. If you guys want to see any more features on this, just give me a holler in the chat box and we'll see if we can get a video going on that. Okay, so I've imported the Sick Bass, but as you can see, it's all gone back to here again. So what's this anyway? All right, so what is it all about? <laughs> Well, that's not a sick bass, is it? What's this? All right, let's just use that, cha, just for the just for sake of it. We're gonna get this bass, uh, drum, uh, whatever, new sample. Uh, right click here, I believe. Uh, paste. Yeah, gives you a new sample here, and um, then you can cut it down. 
Right, we just want a little piece. We don't want to go too mad with it. So get that. Del delete that using the backspace. A bit fussy about what you use there. Delete that using the backspace again. And then let's go back to this thing here. What's this thing here? This looks interesting. Uh, that'll do. Just chuck it in there. Random business. Randomism schism. Then we're going to go to here. Then we're going to go paste. Let's see what we get with it. It might sound all out of time and that, but let's see. Uh, no, not paste. Sorry. Um, it would be, it would be, actually quickly paste it, quickly paste it. But then at the same time, let's go back to this one. And let me just tidy up the start of it. The jog wheel wor works okay with it. You know, the, the, whole, the old mouse wheel. Uh, all right, so go like that. And then uh, just run out of time now. Let's see what we've got. Uh, quickly highlight it. Go to the multiplier and click OK. What have we got? Uh, I can't remember what it was like to begin with. Did that do anything? It's a bit strong, wasn't it? All right, go back, go back. Undo multiply. Let's go back there. Let's do the 50-50 one. All right, so transform multiply. It's not quite the same as on the emu on the emu because it's, it's like emulated isn't it right yeah but come on you could do that with a filter and you could also do that with um you know just a loop and a filter of the bass line it sounds dope though it gives in a way it's inspired me to put them two together not that that was a great inspiration but you know what i mean um let's see what else we can do man <sighs> I think I'm going to have to prep a bit more and get some more samples. Here we go. Look, a couple more here. What's Mr. Bass? Uh, what else we got? Ah, let's go back one. Go up a level on this. Uh, Dark Morse. Ah, we ain't got nothing really here, man. It's weird. I think this is only because it, it only takes like 16 bit samples, I think. So if I've got anything in there that's 32 bit, mate, I'm kind of struggling. Right, let's do something stupid. Let's get like a flipping old old school tune, right? Stick that in there. All right, it's a whole song now. Bearing in mind, it's still processing. It's that's way faster than, you know, the um. Oh, what's this? Yeah. All right, so we got that. Let's get the middle of the song. Let's see what silly stuff we do here. All right, so we delete that. Ah, it's, it's crashed, it's crashed, it's crashed. Anyway, I'll play this beat, yeah. So all these sounds that you hear here are from the actual original Emu. Let's get the right screen on here, guys. All the sounds you hear are from the, on the, from the original Emu. And I've used the X multiplier, uh, X transform multiplier to create these sounds. And I've raced ahead, apart from the break, obviously. But I've got this sound here. Which is a bass line sound. That was X multiplied. And this one as well. Check this out. Right, let me get out of the... Just go plain on here. Don't ask me what those two were. Right, but th that was that. I check this bass out. I was able to create that with the multiplier. And this meant as a mix from the other video. When you play them all together, you get this. So guys, you know what? That's it. That's all we got time for on the video. Uh, I just want you guys to just check out the X Multiplier. We're going to move on to the next feature in the Emu sample next. I hope you're liking the video, guys. If I get to 200 likes, I will put this pack for you to download um, in the description with the stems, everything for you guys to mess about. How does that sound? Thanks for watching all the way to the end. Uh, take care. Uh, God bless. Peace out.